You ready to film another exciting episode of Real Good at Doing Stuff? I can't wait. Got to be more exciting. I go. can't wait. Okay, good. There we go. Today on Real Good at Doing Stuff, we're going to talk about uh, something that we have to deal with quite a bit here, and that is um, machine work of other shops. Um, in this situation, uh, this the, the guy that owns this stuff wanted us to just put it together. He had it machined. All we got to do is just snap it together. Now, we kind of cringe every time we hear that because it always puts us in a weird spot. And... Uh, we're particular about how how everything looks and, and and you know some things you just can't they will or what they won't work right and this is a prime example of that um, we always rehome because it doesn't matter we have our process that we know works and uh, we it doesn't matter how the thing measures or looks we're still gonna put our process on because if we don't and it doesn't seal up then you're like well my rotor doesn't seal up you're looking at us and that's no good, right? So we put our process on it. That way we know it's gonna work in the store. If you don't want us to do that, take it somewhere else. We're gonna hone it no matter what. Um, <clears throat> now, the, in this case, the line home, we're checking that and we find, well, first of all, there's an obvious step right here. The camera's probably not gonna catch it, but right, right there at the parting line, there's an obvious jump. The block is tighter than the, than the main cap. All right, so that's a that's a giveaway, All right? <clears throat> now, if you look here, we're zooming in on this lovely production assistant. It's a thou or so tight, right there. Yeah, over here, we're over two thou big, right? So in other words, we have over three thousandths, we're over three thousandths out around. Um, and round is probably not even the right term to use. Um, there's misalignment and all kinds of things going on here. So more than likely, if we were to just put this together, it's very possible the crank would lock up uh, here at this mismatched parting line, I'd be surprised if it didn't. Um, but either ways, this is, I guarantee you this is going to fail, right? Um, and the, down the line, we've got all kinds of things going on. To me, it looks like this block has not even been line honed, uh, other than the crude line honing they do at dark, right? From, from, a lot of times from the manufacturer, they kind of knock the burrs off of it with the home, but they leave it tight and rough so that you can adjust it when you start building it, right? Um, and that's kind of what this looks like. So this thing is far from being ready to assemble. Um, and that's why we double check the stuff and, and you know, find these problems before it goes together and we get to look like the bad guy. So we're gonna stop this process. But we're about to put this thing together. We're gonna stop, go out there to the line home, Cut the caps, start over, and get the get the mains right, and then we'll clean up again. Come in here. Another thing, these plugs here, they come to the block came to us with these installed from the other shop. I guess, and I have no idea who the other shop is. I don't care, right? Um, but they rounded them off because they probably put the wrong, probably put a metric 
uh, socket in here or something and, and most likely impact impacted these in some of these we can't even we're going to have a hard time getting them back out right you can see they're buggered up in here right so we're gonna have to get these out to even get this thing cleaned up again and that's gonna be a job all right but that's the, some of the stuff that you can you can run into when you're just gonna put it together <laughs> it just doesn't work that way so like i say cut the caps back on back in the line hole and we'll straighten that out we'll show you some of that process all right we've run our mandrel through this thing with the block a couple times and you can see here where i was talking about that spot it still hasn't touched well get it where you can see it we got our die right here and it still hasn't touched there right so it's wide right here so now we're going to cut this cap down a little bit and tighten it back up and then we can hone it some more and fix that <laughs> After another day of slaving away here in the shop, we've got this thing squared away in a much different situation at the end of the day than we were at the beginning. Um, the first thing you might notice here is that uh, the finish is much finer. I don't know how much different that would affect anything in the real world, but it definitely noticeably different. The, different. the, uh, the finish from dark is very coarse. Um, and uh, you know, may not affect anything, but this is definitely different. We deburr everything everywhere so that um, uh, we're less likely to develop scratches and uh, also less likely to tear skirts up and that type of thing. But you can see how much different uh, everything is. If you look at the caps, um, up here you can see the service where we cut the cap down. We do that to shrink the hole up so that we can hone and come back out and get round again. Um, and you'll notice there's no die. Um, so this thing is cutting everywhere and is, uh, as round as can be. And generally speaking, something like this, um, uh, we put it on what we call the split, um, which means that it's uh, pretty much the, 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 the whole size is about in the, in the middle of the, uh, tolerance. And usually on something like this, the tolerance in the book is eight to ten, eight, eight to Eight, eight tenths to one thousandths usually. So we're, we're in the middle of that. Now we'll start playing with bearings and seeing uh, just exactly where our clearance is at and put this thing together. But anyhow, I just wanted to kind of go over today what shops go through when people bring them stuff from other places. And uh, if you're a local machine shop or whatever, uh, kind of gives you the stink eye when, when you tell them you just want to want them to bolt something together, this may be why, um, because they want something done to their standards. And it, you know, at the end of the day, when it leaves here, it's got my name on it, right? And uh, I can't say, well, it blew up, but it's not my fault because somebody else machined it. That doesn't work. People don't fall for that. And uh, it may be right, it may be true, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that. So anyhow, that's a little bit, little little look into 
just a day-to-day -day type of thing that happens in the machine shop. Um, there you go. Merch is available at HarrellEngine.com, and we'll have another video out in another couple of days. So, 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 so.